future doctors, today I'm diving into everything you need to know about amenorrhea. That's right, we're talking causes, symptoms and treatments. So grab your notebooks and let's get started. First off, what is amenorrhea? Amenorrhea is the absence of menstruation. Now, it's important to differentiate between primary and secondary amenorrhea. Primary amenorrhea is when a person hasn't had their first period by age 15. Secondary amenorrhea occurs when someone who has had regular periods stops menstruating for three consecutive cycles or more. Now, let's talk causes. For primary amenorrhea, think about genetic or anatomical issues. Conditions like Turner syndrome, androgen insensitivity syndrome, or congenital abnormalities of the reproductive tract. Secondary amenorrhea. It's often related to lifestyle factors such as stress, significant weight loss or gain, and intense exercise. But don't forget about medical causes like polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, thyroid disorders, and hyperprolactinemia. Symptoms pretty straightforward here. The main symptom is the absence of menstruation. But depending on the underlying cause, patients might experience other symptoms. For instance, PCOS might bring along hirsutism, acne and weight gain. Thyroid issues could present with weight changes, fatigue and hair loss. Always keep an eye on the bigger picture. Now, treatment. Treatment for amenorrhea focuses on the underlying cause. If it's lifestyle related, modifications can make a huge difference. For instance, reducing stress, maintaining a healthy weight and moderate exercise. Medical treatments vary. Hormonal therapies such as birth control pills might be prescribed. For thyroid or pituitary conditions, specific medications can help regulate hormone levels. And in some cases, surgery might be necessary to correct anatomical problems. So, future docs, always remember to take a thorough patient history and conduct a full physical exam. Laboratory tests and imaging studies can be incredibly useful in pinpointing the cause. And when in doubt, don't hesitate to consult your colleagues or refer your patient to a specialist. That wraps up our guide on amenorrhea. Stay curious, keep learning, and you'll be well on your way to making a real difference in your patients' lives. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more medical insights. Until next time, keep pushing the boundaries of medicine. Thanks for watching.